Hello, welcome to this again. So, smartphones, right? Pretty much the backbone of our society nowadays. And you know, for as long as I'm pretty sure anybody can remember, the main debate has been what's better, Android or Apple. Objectively speaking, Android's better, honestly. I'm pretty sure anybody can agree if they read into it enough. But you know, in most social situations, it's better to have an iPhone. But what if I want the social status of owning an iPhone with the user experience of an Android phone? Well, fun fact, it's actually entirely possible to install Android on an iPhone 3G, and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Except it's not going to be this version of Android, this is just the oldest Android phone I own. It's actually going to be like Android 2 point something, I forgot. Except uh, this isn't an iPhone 3G, this is an iPhone 3GS, because uh, guess who didn't read the guide properly? So you know, I went to buy an iPhone 3G, and it arrived today, and you know, the listing just had the phone and a charging cable. But when it arrived and I opened the package, I was met with an iPhone 3GS box. <laughs> so you know, when I saw this, I was like, oh no, did they send me a 3GS? No, it's an iPhone 3G in a 3GS box. You can tell it's a 3G because of the model number down there. And I mean, it still came with the charging cable, and I'm just gonna keep it in this box. So yeah, I guess now I have a box for my 3GS. So this iPhone 3G is currently running iOS version 3.1.3 which is uh, perfect because it's pretty easy to jailbreak and then install Android on. This is when they called the music app just iPod. It's the exact same app, just with a different name and icon. Alright, so this thing currently isn't jailbroken, and to jailbreak it, I'm gonna be using a tool called Legacy iOS Kit, which to use requires Linux or macOS. I'm gonna use macOS just to fit with the Apple theming, I guess. Problem is, the only Mac I have that can run the required version of macOS is the, is the Big Mac, so... Let me get that set up real quick. All right, so like most times I try to film this Mac, this portion of the video is gonna look pretty bad, but you're gonna have to bear with me. All right, so I've got Legacy iOS Kit downloaded here and I've got the uh, the how-to wiki here. So it says, connect your iOS device to your PC slash Mac. Start the script by running restore.sh. Okay, let me connect my thing. Okay, there we go. So if I put this in here. Oh. I did something. You need to install curl from Mac ports. All right, it's finished. So now I should be able to do that. Legacy iOS kit will be installing dependencies and setting up permissions of the tools. Sure. Install script done. Please run the script again to proceed. If your iOS device is plugged in, unplug and replug your device. Okay. Cool. All right, I would like to jailbreak my device. The jailbreak device option is not supported for this device. To jailbreak, go to restore slash downgrade instead. Select 4.1 or 3.1.3, then enable the jailbreak option. I mean, yeah, sure, I'll try, but... Hey! All right, it's, uh, do we have Cydia now? I can edit home screen, apparently. Oh, hey, look, it's Cydia. All right, I can get this Mac off the desk now, luckily. All right, we're back to an actually decent view of the iPhone now. So the method of installing Android on the iPhone 3GS uses a tool called Bootlace, which uh, should be available on Cydia. Yep, here it is. I would like to install this. Yep, confirm. All right, and it's downloading. All right, it's complete, apparently. So a uh, half-installed package. When the shell scripts associated with packages fail, they are left in a bad state known as either half configured or half installed. These errors don't go away and instead continue to cause issues. These scripts can be deleted and the package is forcibly removed. I can either forcibly clear which is unsafe or ignore which is temporary. Oh, I'll ignore it. Well, I mean, it didn't show up on the, uh, on the home screen at all, so what if I just, uh, reinstall it? It asked me again if I want to forcibly clear the thing. I'm just gonna click confirm, and I clicked forcibly clear, so let's hope it didn't break anything. Let's hope it doesn't break anything. Okay, so apparently Bootlace has just been broken for a while now, so somebody's now hosting a new version that was updated in 2021, so, uh, so let me, uh, add a source. If anyone needs it, here's the URL. All packages? Here we go, we got bootlace. Uh... Modify? Install. Alright, it's installed. Well, it's not giving me an error about, you know, um, half-installed packages, so, uh... Oh, and there it is, alright. Alright, so the instructions say to open bootlace. It checks compatibility, it downloads kernel, I guess. Now it's patching the kernel. Reboot required, kernel successfully patched, your device must reboot. Okay, give that a shot. I really hope I didn't just brick my 3G. 
All right, cool, we were actually able to reboot. Now if I open Bootlace again, welcome to Bootlace. The iDroid tab will allow you to install iDroid to your device. Quick Boot allows you to reboot your device into the selected OS. Thanks, I was reading that. Finally, the Open iBoot tab allows install and configuration of Open iBoot. Okay. All right, so the guide says to go to Open iBoot and to click Install. Bootlace is about to install Open iBoot. This involves flashing important parts of your device and must not be interrupted or your device will require a restore. Do not close the app during any part of the install. Connect your device to the mains before continuing. Well then. All right, I've got 30 pin here. <laughs> Cool. Continue. All right, we're installing. It's downloading the firmware. Now it's flashing the firmware. All right, it seems to have finished. And now we go to the iDroid tab and we click install. And we're downloading iDroid. It's now verifying iDroid. It's now decompressing the files for iDroid. It's now extracting the files for iDroid. <laughs> it's now resolving dependencies for iDroid. I have seen in some places that it gets stuck here sometimes, so I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. So, uh, it's been sitting at this for like, uh, five minutes at this point. Uh, I'm gonna just <laughs> let it sit for like an hour. Uh, I'll come back if it's still, uh, on this screen. I'll, like, I'll just restart it, try again, maybe. The thing is, I looked this up, and this is only happening to people who are running iOS 4. And this is iOS 3, so, I, I don't know. So, it's been two hours. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this thing is uh, not going to resolve its dependencies. So what if I just like restart the f or just like, yeah, do that. <laughs> oh, well now it just crashes, isn't it? Okay, no. What if I just like try to reinstall it? We're downloading iDroid once again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this sit for like another like half hour, probably. If that doesn't work, I'm restarting the iPhone. All right, it's been a bit longer than half an hour. I'm gonna just try rebooting this thing and seeing what happens. If I have to, I can always just restore the thing, so. All right, turning it back on. Oh, well we have open iBoot. What if I try just going into Android? Well, we've got stuff going on. Oh, we've got an Android logo. Android. Every time I install Android on this channel, it's always there. Oh iDroid! We've got the Android little little guy holding an apple. I wonder if he's about to take a bite of said apple. Oh, hey! Okay, now, first off, it's really dark. Oh, it's still loading, okay. Second, uh, when I read about other people having problems with the dependency thing getting stuck, when they restarted and just tried to boot it, the touchscreen didn't work, so I guess we'll find out. The, the touch screen doesn't work. Maybe it's just not done loading? The touch screen doesn't work. <laughs> oh, the home button works. That's something, but uh, the touch screen doesn't work. <laughs> kind of a pretty important piece of a touch screen based device. All right, let me shut this thing down. I mean, it's nice that it's, you know, a dual booting thing instead of, you know, just overwriting iOS and just sending it. Oh no. How do I shut this thing down? The volume... The vol... <laughs> the, the audio works and the volume... and the volume buttons work. How do I turn the thing off? Please don't make me wait for this thing's battery to die. The power menu popped up. After I held down the power button and the home button, what if I just keep holding those down? Oh, did it finally shut off? Yes! Okay. I can finally go back to iOS and try reinstalling this whole thing. I really hope I don't have to restore this thing to, you know, get it to work, because I really don't want to bring out the Mac again. Okay, we're back in iOS. Bootlace. Let me fix my mistakes. Okay, so if I remove open iBoot, it's, it needs to download the firmware to uninstall it. Okay. Uh, no, don't unpatch the kernel. I'm gonna just try it again. And this time I'm not plugging it into mains power because I don't think this thing's battery can spontaneously die on me after being plugged in for hours. I did forget to do one thing, and that is to uh, touch the eye in the upper right corner to extract the multi-touch firmware and download the Wi-Fi firmware, but I don't think I can do that in the first place when it's not even installed, so... Or at least properly installed. You know, honestly, I might have to do this the hard way. This is supposed to be the easy way of installing it. There's a there's a completely manual way of doing it that I could do if I absolutely have to. Yeah, extract the multi-touch firmware. I'll do this now so that yeah. Nice multi-touch firmware. Wi-Fi? 
Okay. Multi-touch? No. Okay. I'm gonna restart the phone now before I install Android just to, like, refresh it, I guess? I don't know. Just, it's something that I didn't do last time, so I would like to boot into iOS, please. Alright, iPhone's rebooted. Now if I go to Bootlace, go to iDroid, click Install. Yes, continue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do research on how to do it the hard way, uh, while I just let this sit, so, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Alright, clearly this isn't going anywhere, so I've brought out the shit top. Alright, so it's the next day, right? And I've spent the entire day trying every single guide I can find to extract the multi-touch firmware file from iOS 3 and not a single one worked. Eventually I got fed up and I just asked my Discord server. <laughs> I got sent a Reddit thread that had a download for the firmware. Uh, thing is, it's for the wrong device, which just caused the screen to, you know, freak out every like five seconds. And then after that, I rebooted the thing and decided to uh, try reinstalling iDroid. And then iDroid uh, fully installed instead of getting stuck on resolving dependencies for like the seventh time. So we're gonna see if this boots or not. I'm pretty sure it still has the uh, the bad multi-touch firmware on it, uh, which means it's probably gonna do the same thing, but it might, it, it might not, it might actually work. There we go, Android, start booting. All right, it's booted, but now if I tap the screen, is it going to register that I tapped the screen? No, it does not. I mean, the home button works. But that's, that, that's it. Alright, I guess I'm going back to uh, bashing my head against the wall off camera to try to find a way to get this stupid firmware file. So it's a uh, Sunday night. 9 p.m. on a Sunday night. This video has to be out in nine hours. So what has happened in the time that I've been gone? After another fruitless effort of, you know, trying to find the file, by myself. I called on some friends to try to to try to help me find it. Poor Erky spent six hours that night trying to find the file. She couldn't find it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this morning I decided to call upon my entire Discord server to help me find this file. It took them 45 minutes. <laughs> So shoutouts to Headphone Enthusiast, or he on Discord, for actually obtaining the file and sending it. They weren't the person to actually find the link for the file. I had personally found the link to the file many times, as well as a bunch of other people in the Discord. Problem is, the download was like the sketchiest thing ever, and it kept redirecting people to, uh, porn. But somehow, uh, he was able to download the file, and they sent it, so. So after all that, Android with working touch support and I can click Google and and I can click Google and I can type Google That was the slowest Google I've ever seen I can click go and then it says that there's no internet or something like that because I forgot to reinstall the internet drivers. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I was gonna install some games on here to see if any of them could run, but uh, I'd have to do some like SD card emulation and deal with image files and all that, and I don't have enough time for that. So we're gonna change the wallpaper and be done with it. That is, if I can change the wallpaper. I'm assuming I can't just... Oh, there we go, wallpapers. All right, we've got iDroid. This, the actual default picture, uh, that, we got all these. I think I'm feeling this one. Did it, did it do it? Well, cool, uh, changing the wallpaper does not work. Ooh, calculator. Six times eight divided by two times three minus four divided by five plus three divided by seven times six minus one divided by five times seven, divided by four minus three, plus six, plus six, plus one, times nine, times 26, divided by nine. 200.421428571429.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Scarlet, Huey, Legongo, Nodic, Rottweiler, Test Tech, Hedgehog Gamer, Anthony, Lamp, Highway 11, Lily, MRF, Solar, Anibus, Eggs, Matt's Games, Teletale, Ziku, Justify, Nick, Lam, Gut, We Galaxy, 4K, LG TV, Chernobyl Dweller, Felix, The Animator, Midnight Wave, Corbin, Nickel, Erky, Celestner, Hello, Yin Ho, Whale Tech, F3, Pai, Skyblocker, Henry, Beat, Orson, Gamer Gator, Does Tech, Melody, Kim, a user, normal Roblox player, is just J, Tomas, Mr. Muffin, and I am Maurice, and with that, I'll be seeing you.